Greetings, friends. For today's art activity, we are going to create a Chicka Chicka painting. We are going to mix up all of the uppercase and lowercase letters of the alphabet. Our artwork is inspired by the story Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, and we're going to be using a black crayon and markers to create our painting. So you're going to definitely need a black crayon and then you're also going to need markers. Try to limit yourself to maybe two or three colors. That looks pretty good. I think I'm going to go with these three colors. If you use more than three colors, as you paint with the water, some of the colors might start to look a little muddy because they all start to mix together. So limit yourself to just maybe three of your favorite colors. The next thing you're going to need is a small cup of water and a little paintbrush. If you do not have a paintbrush, you can also use your finger, but just be careful. It does get a little messy if you do it that way. So let's gather up our materials and let's get to work. I'm going to start working today by using my black crayon to draw the uppercase and lowercase letters of the alphabet. I'm going to trace over my letter maybe once or twice just to make sure it shows up nice and dark. If you're not pressing hard with the crayon, when we use the markers, you might lose some of those black lines in your coloring. Take your time and kind of scatter the letters across your paper. Mix them up and put them in different spots. Maybe turn them so that way they're facing different directions. Be creative with it and try to cover your entire paper with uppercase and lowercase letters. After you have covered your whole paper with uppercase and lowercase letters, you are going to use your three colors of markers that you have chosen. I am going to use three colors and I am going to start with one color and I'm going to right next to the black line draw a line with a marker. So we're going to practice drawing our lines today with not only a black crayon but also a marker. Think about if the line is straight, if it's curvy, or if it's kind of zigzag. Do about a third of the letters with one color and then do the rest of the letters with the other two colors. Take your time and work carefully and neatly. Again, trying to scatter those colors across your paper. Now, the painting process is very simple. You use a paintbrush with a little bit of water and you dance the water on the white part of the paper. We are not painting over the marker lines. We are putting the water on the white parts of the paper. As that water sits there next to the marker lines, the marker will start to bleed into the water and paint the paper. So again, we are not painting over those lines. We want those lines to stay where they are. But by putting water next to those lines, it kind of picks up the color a little bit and makes it smudge around some. It bleeds into the white space and gives you a nice soft background for your painting. Take your time and make sure you cover all of the paper with the water. Make sure you don't miss any spots around the edges and don't forget about those spots inside of the letters. Some of the letters have spaces inside of them. Don't forget to paint those. Take your time, work carefully and neatly. When you are all finished, make sure you photograph your art and share it on Artsonia.